let me give y'all some green flags for men. A man that is quick to apologize. So a man that's quick to apologize, that means he's not an ego. That means he's humble. He's willing to grow, willing to learn. He's willing to admit he's wrong, first of all. That means he's accountable to himself. And baby, that's what you need. If you want a good, healthy relationship, it's going to take a partner that is going to stand up and say, you know what? I was wrong. I don't know everything. You know what I mean? I apologize for the way that I said that. Any man who's going to step up and who actually apologizes to you, not has to be forced into an apology, but will straight up apologize and even admit he's wrong before you might acknowledge that he's wrong. Keep him. Number two, a man who is quick to forgive. You want to keep a man like this close because a man who isn't going to hold grudges and spend extra energy hating you, being angry with you, that's a man that truly is kind hearted. Okay, because it's easy to hold a grudge. It's hard to say, you know what, you did what you, and I'm not talking about, inf you know, forgiving infidelities and stuff like that. That might take a while, but just in general, who you might have pissed him off that day. And by the time, you know, it don't take him too much longer to reconcile with you. He's not going to sit up there with an attitude, arms folded up. You piss me off. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, he going to forgive quickly. You want a man like that. That is definitely a green flag. Number three, a man who is gentle in communication. This is a great man, okay? This is the kind of man who he's not going to be disrespectful in the way that he communicates with you. He's going to not be condescending. He's going to talk to you like he got some sense, and he's going to give you the floor when it's time for you to speak. You know what I mean? He's going to acknowledge how you feel, and he's never going to take it left, okay? He's going to be gentle with you in conversation. He's going to care about how you receive him, okay? And he's going to make that safe space for you. So, man with them three traits, baby, them some green flags. Go ahead and proceed. I hope she got that man, though. You know, I, I really hope that the man that she just described, he exists and he's dating her right now and showing her all these traits. Because I really hope so. Because like, when I checked her page, she don't got no man. She's dating. She's trying to find this so-called guy. So I don't know why she's drawing this information from, these um delusions. But um me personally i'm not quick to apologize if i'm wrong i hold myself accountable i'm not saying that you never apologize if you are wrong you do apologize but do, be quick to apologize by what it really depends on the context guys is this is the struggle of being a guy right if you are with other guys or even women here's the funniest thing if you seem like you lack like masculinity or dominance people take advantage of that when it comes to men, when they see a little blood in the ocean, they're attacking. So if you're quick, somebody bumps into you, oh my brother, oh, you, every situation you're quick to apologize, like you're almost afraid of situations, is never a good look for a man. That's the I'm just saying what the sad thing about being a man. This is realistic. To be quick to apologize to every situation, sometimes you just gotta stare. Sometimes you just gotta stare. And it's I, I know it doesn't sound like good things, but this is people take advantage of guys that's good and pure if a woman is always nice and all that stuff people will try to protect her there are some people that will try to take advantage of her too but people are more likely to protect her because it's a woman still you know with a guy if you are pure and you're kind the world and women will take advantage of you i repeat the world and women will take advantage of you the world doesn't do good to pure nice guys the world don't treat you kindly it don't respect you don't value you it's just how the world is. So if you sitting here and you quick to apologize and you quick to, you know, I'm, I'm my bad and this and this, and th women would not find you like, nah, it wouldn't work for you guys. If, if you imagine when you was younger and you wasn't used to talking to women and you acted like that, you was like quick to hold yourself accountable. Like, I'm sorry. And this and this, they didn't find that attractive. Women care about the guy that don't care. Even when they get older, they care about that man that don't care. When you care too much, women find you uninterested so when you're asking for forgiveness all the time or saying you're sorry and stuff like that and you forgive too quickly you care too much and the world doesn't give a damn about you and most women don't really care for you so you gotta take care of yourself as a man that's the life of a man i'm being honest with you right now so whatever she's saying right here like think about this there's women out here that, that i don't hold myself accountable and they want to be forgiven. They want to be appreciated. They want to be valued and stuff like that. 
and they don't hold themselves accountable. And society's still uplifting them. If a man don't hold himself accountable, other men will, and society will hold you accountable. You see how it works? We don't we don't play by the same rules. This woman is not in the best shape. People will uplift her for her wrongdoings, her the things that she put herself through, and the things that she's accepting in her life, even if it's neg if negative connotations, they will still say she's strong, beautiful, and everything. If a man do stuff like that, there wouldn't be no oh he's didn't they wouldn't uplift him. There's no body empowerment for men. There's no money empowerment for men. Like literally, if you got no money or you're trying to get a little dollar here, there's no empowerment. Stay broke, my boy. Stay in that corner, you know, asking for corners and dollars. Like there's no empowerment for that. So you have to understand this situation when she's saying these things, she don't have a man. And she's giving advice to guys like it, it doesn't make sense to me. Don't and please, guys, do not sit here and be forgiven. Don't sit here and apologize all the time. I'll be damned. I hold myself accountable. If I made a mistake, I apologize and I say, okay, yeah, I made, I made a mistake, guys. You know, that was on me. Accountability. But just to be apologizing left and right all the time, people are gonna be like, man, you gotta stop doing that. That is if a man apologizes all the time, it shows a sense of weakness. Society, that's how it looks. I'm sorry, but that's just a side look. If you apologize a lot, it shows a sense of weakness. If you are always forgiving, it shows weakness. Like it, it, that's just how society look at men. I'm not sitting here trying to tell you toxic traits and stuff. I'm telling you what society look at us as, and it's never gonna change. So don't let this woman tell you to do all these nice guy things, and then guess what? She won't date the nice guy. She would not date the nice guy. They will tell you be this type of individual and stuff. Why won't you go date that man then? They won't date him. But they will tell you all these things that they want you to be, but they'll never. Come on, guys. Let's make it make sense. Like, comment, subscribe.